Over the past decade, many people, especially millennials, have chosen to migrate away from our major cities. Housing prices and the overall cost of living have steadily increased, while low wages have made living and working in urban centers a strenuous and life-draining task. People are drowning in debt and have very little savings due to wage stagnation, and the high cost of food, rent, mortgage payments, child care and education. So moving to a smaller community is now a much more attractive alternative. Overall, smaller communities provide a lower cost of living, with groceries to housing being more affordable. Renting is the only reasonable option in major cities for millennials. Owning a home in a smaller community is a more realistic option. It's easier to start a small business in a rural setting due to lower real estate prices and taxes. And there's more opportunity to fill a need. With employees encouraged to work from home, they can now choose where to live. With Wi-Fi virtually everywhere, computers and tablets allow for total mobility to work wherever there's an internet connection. Recently, our North American systems have been tested with less favorable results. Big companies are swallowing up smaller ones for integration or moving them offshore to save money. We need to remedy this situation by introducing sustainable wealth communities. According to Greg Gillespie, the Economic Development Officer for the Town and Rural Municipality of Moosom in Saskatchewan, several demographic and social trends are merging to provide massive economic development opportunities for communities across North America. COVID-19 caused a significant paradigm shift in the way we think of going to work. Traditional offices and urban clustering were given way to working from home or working remotely. Opportunities such as online shopping services were growing at about 10% yearly before the pandemic. During the first phase, yearly growth grew to an average of 80% and appears to be holding at 30% moving forward into 2021. With the growth in home-based offices and the accelerated growth of online shopping, online businesses represent a growing segment of the workforce. The online market doesn't just involve products, but also services such as business consulting, IT, engineering, social media, etc. Gillespie also points out that the shortages of personal protection equipment and meat processing interruptions are two obvious repercussions surfacing during the pandemic. Local manufacturing and processing is more responsive to local needs, while large international players don't have the flexibility and causes large gaps in delivery times. The demand for local processing is most evident in the food industry, with rising concerns of sustainability, environment, freshness, quality, tractability, livestock, and animal welfare. The growth in greenhouses, abattoirs, and farm markets will likely result from these trends presenting small towns with further opportunities, according to Gillespie. Renewable energy will continue to dominate the energy market share as the oil industry's decline accelerates. Unlike the massive facilities required to extract and refine oil, renewable energy generation can easily be scaled and located anywhere. Wind, solar, thermal or cogeneration can be practical energy replacement options for any size community, providing their jurisdiction with low cost heat and power to attract new industries and businesses. Gillespie also states that these opportunities won't be lining up at your door, so communities need a sustained economic development effort to find and attract new business. Of course, operation costs are always a significant consideration for businesses evaluating a new location. Heat and energy can be a significant expense for manufacturers or processors. If your town does not currently have a low-cost energy source, you should explore renewable energy options to attract these new businesses. We know from real-time experience in this area that trends are evolving to provide economic opportunities across North America. Not only are these manufacturing and processing opportunities out there, but it should be easier now to attract the human resources necessary to make those businesses run. The food industry, agriculture, and land use sectors have been hit hard by the pandemic, but must now prepare against the potentially more significant and disruptive effects of climate change. While climate change threatens these industries' very foundation, the enterprises themselves have an even more significant potential to draw down carbon from the atmosphere. Over the next decade, food, 
agriculture, and land management must work together to strike the right balance. We need to explore how to support the fourth agricultural revolution, which describes the anticipated change for new technology. We must unlock the sector's positive climate potentiality, innovation, and digital technologies at scale, particularly artificial intelligence, to make smarter planning decisions, power autonomous robots, accelerating the role of nature-based solutions and ecosystem services, making better data-driven decisions that support our food systems and climate action. Zipline Green is committed to providing eco-friendly integrated infrastructure and transportation solutions that power themselves, pays for itself, protects the environment, and promotes the social, economic, and environmental development of the communities that they serve. Zipline Green has an excellent joint venture agreement with Urbanaut Company Inc., the most efficient electric train manufacturer in the world, capable of hauling passengers and freight at speeds of up to 100 miles per hour or 160 kilometers an hour. When is a train not a train? When it can generate, store, and distribute clean energy, expand fiber optic data and cellular networks, incorporate safe and efficient pipelines, and efficiently transport people and cargo. Simply put, it powers itself, pays for itself, protects the environment, and propels community development. One of the technologies to be considered is rammed earth buildings, which can be a tremendous alternative in rural areas now that timber is under siege from massive forest fires and other natural disasters. It will take many years for forests to recover, so this idea meets a need. This technique for constructing foundations, floors, and walls uses natural raw materials such as earth, chalk, lime, gravel, and a stabilizer. It has the durability of concrete and can stand compression forces up to 40 megapascals, or 5,800 pounds per square inch, which is up to twice the strength of concrete. A rammed earth building can sustain its integrity for up to 500 years or more. Waste to energy has recently taken several giant leaps in efficiency and output. Waste feedstocks can be converted into various forms of clean energy products such as electricity, high quality hydrogen, liquid synthetic fuels, and green chemicals. Municipal waste can be converted into cost-effective and environmentally sound supply of clean energy and can offset or replace a significant portion of currently used fossil fuels. Relative to the market, HSBC identifies bioenergy and waste as investment opportunities. Bioenergy and waste were the most attractive investment opportunities in the climate sector in the first quarter of 2020, according to the analysis by the HSBC Climate Radar. Amalaterra, a waste to energy company, has developed a technology with proven environmental advantages over incineration, paralysis, and other traditional reformation processes. Their process uses current technologies and off-the-shelf commercially proven equipment which significantly lowers the initial capital and operating costs for processing facilities compared to other waste conversion technologies. Overall, their systems are scalable in 50,000 ton per year increments to provide solutions to meet clients' specific applications and needs. Amalaterra's proprietary improving steam reforming process unlocks the energy in carbon. This process is supported by multiple independent validations and a Canadian five-year demonstration plan. The latest recycling technology, materials recovery solutions, green electronics, sustainable materials, non-toxic substitutes, end-of-life strategies, regulatory and business models help reduce the environmental impact of all consumer and industrial forms of e-waste. E-waste is one of the fastest growing waste streams in the world. The United Nations is projecting over 72 million tons of e-waste per year, which includes used electronics destined for refurbishment, reuse, resale, salvage, and recycling through material recovery or disposal. The precious metals e-waste recovery market will be worth $11.8 billion by 2025. There are huge benefits from e-waste and waste energy at this time. Simply put, it protects the environment, 
reduces business costs, and supports non-renewable recycling. One of the biggest challenges in business is finding financing for projects. Many great projects never see the light of day simply because adequate financing was never secured. There are different methods of financing available if you know who to talk to, and Impact International can certainly assist there. Green, social, and sustainable bonds are only a part of the Impact International finance universe. These bonds are designed to provide direct and measurable exposure to activities that benefit environmental and social welfare. Green bonds are regarded by many as one of the most important innovations in sustainable finance. Despite the outbreak of COVID-19 and the ensuing global economic crisis, the total issuance of green bonds has already surpassed $250 billion. Sustainable bonds proceeds are committed to a combination of both green and social activities. An issuer's pledge of proceeds towards such activities is legally integrated into publicly distributed marketing materials. Green and social bonds are voluntary and may be used by financial institutions, the government, or even a company to raise funds for a defined period. The issuer must ensure that the proceeds are invested in green projects, such as renewable energy, energy efficiency projects, leading to reduced carbon emission. For communities looking to develop a specialized industry, this is an opportunity that needs to be expanded. At Impact International Secured Investments, LLC, we understand all too well from dealing with economic development officers over the years that they have the responsibility to support their communities. But who is there to assist them? Where do they find the ideas and the money to finance opportunities to grow their communities? Government and the banks are the short answer, but is it the most prudent and time-effective way to go? In our professional opinion, it's time to start thinking outside the box, beyond the norms, and change the process to what will work today. Our geographic focus at Impact International for growth is in Western Canada and the Western United States. An excellent example of a small town that created its own wealth is Raymond, Alberta, Canada. They took energy to the next level by powering its municipal infrastructure using only solar panels. Since last fall, Raymond, an agriculture community of about 4,000, has operated nine municipal buildings and all of their street lights by the sun. It sells excess solar power to the electrical grid when it can and buys it back when it's needed. Raymond may become Alberta's first net zero community as the money spent on power from the grid in January is recouped in July's sunny days. Aside from the environmental benefits, the town will avoid any future federal or provincial carbon taxes. At the end of 15 years, when their solar panel lease runs out, Raymond will own its own power utility. We have termed this new model, Green Power Towns. One of our associates in Seattle, Washington, is Cutting Edge Techno Solutions, or SETS. They're a privately held multinational corporation using its insight to develop strategic plans, astute partnerships, adaptive technologies, and wise investments using scientific research and specialized design components. Their vision is to organize and build communities to generate higher resource efficiency, stimulate economic growth, reduce endemic poverty, improve health, resulting in sustainable communities for all. Their uniquely innovative approach creates opportunities and options for cultural creatives, independent workers, unemployed, underemployed, and self-employed to globally participate in the transitioning of rural and urban communities. And Toro Capital, another associate company, is a global investment bank in Houston, Texas, that elevates traditional banking services with modern technology, efficiency, and optimizes the investment banking process. The Antoro team combines technology with global strategic advisory, capital formation expertise, and in-depth industry knowledge to support clients and accredited investors through the investing process. Antoro is designed to serve the extremely accomplished single and multifamily office community by creating an environment in which to share intellectual capital, leverage their years of industry expertise, and brand unique industry-generated deal flow and opportunities. With experienced people and reliable technology, Antoro assists clients throughout the investment process to achieve an optimal result.
A green bank is a mission-driven financing institution, typically public or quasi-public, that uses innovative financing techniques, market-developing tools, partnerships with the private sector to accelerate deployment of green energy technologies, and fight climate change. Green banks care about deploying clean energy rather than maximizing profit. Through our Green Bank Network offering, the Green Bank Network token is used to provide philanthropic assistance for green projects and is backed by hard asset gold properties and gold production. This blockchain token is based on the price of gold and may be purchased at the current day's London Stock Exchange spot gold price. After being held for at least two years, the tokens can be redeemed for real gold at that day's current gold price. The protection of nature, social and cultural engagement is the key to preserving the world for future generations and is why the Green Bank Network Token supports projects for sustainable global development. The Green Bank Network Token's purpose is mainly to support green mining projects, particularly projects reducing carbon emissions to reduce the carbon footprint and create jobs worldwide. Through its Green Bank Network issuance, it will be used to raise capital for green mining to rebuild a green environment. This token is backed by hard asset gold properties and gold production, the most stable and dependable hard asset on the planet. Besides adhering to suggested international banking regulations, Impact International goes the extra mile to ensure that our oversight and reporting is second to none. This is the tactical advantage that we pass on to our clients and investors. Our project management software and visual oversight services can stop corruption while increasing productivity and outcomes to speed the process and efficiency of significant projects. Financial investment is now global, with investors coming from around the world. But how do they protect their large investments on a continual basis? Impact International has spent considerable time and money addressing the overall problem, and we solved it by utilizing new technological advancements and addressing the following challenge. A current study linking green bonds to issues in climate transition strategies and targets concludes that issuers of green bonds should be required to develop business transaction plans, set credible reduction targets, describe in their green bond frameworks how green bonds will help them in achieving these plans and targets, and must report on progress by using transparent and harmonized impact methodologies and metrics. New advancements in oversight and reporting software, satellite and drone surveillance, plus other sophisticated methods makes it possible to have your upper level management and board of directors keep tabs from afar. Project investors and owners can stay fully informed from their office computers from anywhere in the world. This can be accomplished for roughly 1.8% of the full budget per two year contract, which may be renewed if necessary and will in turn repay itself by way of the results. Our high-end service is suited for new projects over $50 million in cost, mainly in the United States and Canada. But remote international locations may apply. This can include mining operations, large construction projects, factories, real estate projects, hotels, etc. This service protects the project owner and investors in tandem. Impact International's oversight and reporting capabilities achieve and exceed the central bank's and international investors' compliance requirements, ensuring our clients' best interests are continuously monitored and acted upon in a timely manner. The opportunities and solutions presented here are only a small sample of what's available in today's marketplace. These project ideas and many others are possible in the right situation with the proper funding and the right support. Everything you need, including contact information, is included in this presentation. The time is now to move forward to a new, cleaner, greener, wealthier community where the focus is to go big, stay small.